Hey guys, welcome to Toy Shop. Today we're putting a voltage regulator and a battery in the Honda Passport. All right, so I got about an hour on this since the last video, and so far the old Liffin right there, she's doing pretty good. So um, with that being said, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put a voltage regulator and a battery in this so we can eventually get lights on this. I've gone ahead and taken the exhaust off so we got more room because it kind of went up this way and I just don't want to look around it. But um, I really haven't done anything different in here other than just pulled everything back out. Um, I did redo this ground right here a little bit because I had yellow wires in it and green is ground. So I'm just going to keep with green. Um, you're going to see a lot of these connectors here. I'm going to use a lot of these ones. I really like this style a lot better than like the other crimp style. But these have two little, little foldy ears that fold down. One, the smaller, shorter set fold down on the wire itself, and the taller set folds down on the, on the insulation on the wire. They hold a lot better than like this kind here. I'm not really a big fan of these, but I don't have any of the eyelet ones in this style here. So I'm gonna post links and stuff to this stuff down in the in the description, but I got everything electrical out that I think I'm gonna need. These are some little solder shrink wrap doodads. They actually work pretty decent. So I've used one of those already. Um, shrink wrap, got that. And then these I found on Amazon and they actually, I like them a lot. Inside you just have your spools of wire, but it kind of keeps everything nice and contained. And if you need a wire collar, you just pull it out of the box and cut it and then use it. So. Um, so that's kind of everything I've got. I'll have links for all of that down below, along with the voltage regulator. Um, I looked online, or on Amazon, they had everything listed out, what color means what. So the green is ground, just like the other, the rest of the wiring harness. The white and pink, or yellow and pink, are the white and yellow wires coming out of the stator. And then the red goes to the battery to charge it. So... I have down what all the colors mean. Um, the only thing is I don't have the mating plug for this, so we're gonna cut this off and end up sticking these connectors on it so I can get it into the harness here. So we're gonna use these two wires, the yellow and white, and then we're probably gonna tie into the green here. This is a double female connector right here. So I have the other grounds that we ground in the last video running to one and then the ground from the voltage regulator, I'm gonna run on the other side of that. And then I'm gonna stick this on that hole there, but on the inside. So, so all that's gonna ground out right to the frame. And let's get that going. So something I bought at Walmart years ago that I didn't really know existed are these wire strippers. It closes down on the wire and then pulls it apart. And these work awesome compared to like a utility knife or something. Just stick your wire in there. And that's it. All right, I'm just going to put male bullet connectors on all of these. But these ends have a an insulator on them. A little rubber doodad that goes on first. Don't forget to put that on first. Because it doesn't really fit very well over top of the bullet. But I don't know. Can you see that better? So I'm gonna clamp the smaller ones first on the actual copper in the wire, and then I'm gonna fold down these back tabs here over top of the insulate, insulation. So, kind of get the tips, kind of get it staged here in the, in the tool. I'm gonna kind of stick that through. So now if you look, that, those first tabs are bent right over and it's just holding onto the copper. And then these other two are standing up. I'm gonna fold those over to hold the insulation. And these bullets hold up really, really good to being pulled off. So there we go. Now let's fold it down. Pull my little rubber doodad up there. And that end's done. So we're gonna do the other three and then I'll meet you back over at the bike. All right, so now this is gonna be literally just as simple as putting yellow to yellow, 
pink to white. The green here, I already have my other ground for the rest of the wiring harness grounded, so I just gotta plug it into that. And then this red wire just needs to make its way to the battery. So that part's gonna be pretty simple. But where am I gonna stick this big thing? I think I found a spot, but um, this is just an old piece of inner tube that I cut, and I poked a hole in it for a bolt on one side. And I'm gonna show you where I'm gonna put this, but I can only get one bolt in it, so I got a cute little pink zip tie holding the other side of the, the inner tube so that there's a little bit of dampening there so the voltage regulator isn't vibrating and bouncing all over and hopefully hopefully the voltage regulator lasts. Where I plan on sticking it is up in there against that back wall. And then one of, one of those, probably that one right there, that hole, I'm probably gonna stick the bolt in. So it should fit up in there. See if I can kind of show you guys. It's gonna go up in there somewhere like that, but it's gonna bolt through the body. Then that L bracket right there, cause that's gonna hold the battery. So that should give me enough room and I will show you guys once I get it bolted in there. All right, so it's up in there, bolted in there. I used a good and rusty bolt. You can't even tell, it looks like it's factory. It's already got some patina on it. So now I'm just gonna plug stuff in and then try to get a lot of this tucked back in there and then we will be onto the battery. So I wanna make a fairly heavy duty ground for this. And like I said before, I don't have the fancy style connectors for the eye bolt. So what I like to do is take the blue plastic off of them so I can see what I'm doing. And then I'll slide it over top of it. And then usually channel locks seem to work pretty good. What I'll do is I'll try to just squeeze half of the connector against the wire. I don't know how well you can see that. But just squeeze half of it against it and get it good and snug and then go back over and fold the second half over on top of the first half. So it's got a really good squeeze on it. I know it's got a good squeeze on it. And then if you wanted to go the extra step, you could put a little bit of solder on it, but it feels pretty good. So I got the ground strap made up. The battery we're using has flat spades on it. I've got the connectors to just hook that on there. So that should work pretty good. All right, so everything's hooked up and I have a ground wire run. That ground wire goes up into here and that's got, it's hooked up in the same spot as the ground for all the electronic, the rest of the electronics. So I have two different wires going there, both with the eyelet. So there's two eyelets bolted right there. So this, all this green right here is ground for the electronics. And then this black wire is just a ground for the battery to the frame. And then that should complete the circuit. And then the red wire down here, that's off the voltage regulator from here that way. So I had to make a little jumper wire that has the spade on it for the red or for the hot terminal on the battery. I'm probably gonna change this in the next video when I go to run lights, but right now, technically it should charge the battery. So I don't have anything fancy in here. I have the coil laying right in here and I have it shoved as far forward in this cavity in here as I can. And I've got all my extra spark plug wire looped up as far as I can. So the spark plugs kind of pointed up instead of pointed back, but that worked best for that. The voltage regulator is up against that back wall there. I'm gonna be honest, the CDI box is just thrown back in there to get out of the way. Hopefully it doesn't get beat up too bad and hopefully it keeps working but I'll let you guys know in the future. I've had it just bouncing around in there since I got this thing going and I've got an hour or two on it and it hasn't quit yet, but I have not done anything fancy to the CDI. But now we've got all this extra wire and stuff. The battery is pretty much gonna go from here to here and it's pretty much gonna take this whole, this whole square. So as long as I keep everything that direction of here, then it should be okay. I know it's sloppy and messy. You guys can haze me about it in the comments. But that pretty much is it. So now I'm gonna show you guys the battery. This battery fits in here pretty much just like that. That's pushed all the way up against. It's sitting just under flush for this. So I've got some room to put like maybe a piece of inner tube or something here with a strap. I'm probably gonna try to run a sheet of metal, like 
a steel piece like from here to here, these two bolt holes to help hold this in. But this is essentially what it's gonna look like. You're gonna have your red wire go there to the hot and the black wire go here to ground. So you can put this battery in either way, but I'd rather have the red up top here. It's less likely to ground out on anything. So this is basically what it's gonna look like when it's all said and done is something like that. Now, I don't want this battery just free bouncing around in there. And I've already done this to my buddy's bike, so I know it works, but it's kind of janky but I took inner tube, I like inner tube. So I took some inner tube and I wrapped it around the battery. It's kind of floppy right now, but I just held the inner tube around the battery and then I just duct taped it. And I think that'll be enough. Um, it actually, it fits in there really snug so it doesn't have a whole lot of room to shake. And then once I make that strap to go across the front, it should be in good shape. That's everything you gotta do in order to get the battery to charge. So the next video I'm gonna do, we're gonna start running the lights on this. So I got a wiring diagram kind of drawn up right now. I got a, a fuse block, so we should be looking good for that. Hopefully the next video is done and we get to start wiring all of this. Sorry for such the caveman style wiring diagram, but stay tuned.